If climax feels the same but nothing comes out, your body may be whispering an urgent truth. I'm Dr. Zara, a urologist focused on men's health, and today we're going to decode a subject most men never talk about, dry ejaculation. It's when the pleasure of orgasm remains, but no visible release follows. For many, it sparks confusion, embarrassment, even fear. Yet what's happening is rarely a loss of masculinity. It's the body's quiet way of saying, pay attention to me. Under normal conditions, the testicles produce sperm, the seminal vesicles add a nourishing fluid, and the prostate provides its protective component. These ingredients collect in the urethra, and when the time is right, rhythmic muscle contractions propel the fluid outward. It's a finely tuned dance between the brain, nerves, and muscles. But the feeling of climax, that pulse of pleasure, is controlled by the brain itself. So when you experience the same sensation but see nothing, it usually means that the mechanical part of the process has changed, not the ability to feel. One of the most common reasons is retrograde flow. Imagine a small gate at the bladder's opening that should close tightly during orgasm to direct semen forward. If that gate doesn't close, the fluid takes the easier route backward into the bladder. The pleasure remains, but the evidence disappears. Later, the urine may look cloudy proof that the body simply rerouted the fluid. Retrograde flow often follows prostate or bladder surgery, but it can also result from certain medications, particularly those for high blood pressure or mental health treatment. Diabetes and spinal injuries can interfere with the same nerve signals. A simple urine test right after climax usually confirms it. Treatment depends on the cause, sometimes adjusting medication, sometimes nerve support therapy, and often just reassurance. Fertility might decrease, but pleasure and intimacy can remain completely normal. Another mechanical reason is blockage. Think of the ducts that carry semen like small roads. When infection, scarring, or even tiny stones block those roads, the fluid can't travel. Everything behind the obstruction is working properly, but nothing reaches the exit. Some men feel a dull pelvic ache during climax, or notice the fluid gradually thinning over time. Doctors can detect blockages through ultrasound or MRI scans, and many can be corrected with medication or minimally invasive procedures. Beyond mechanics lies chemistry or hormones. Testosterone is the silent engine of the male reproductive system. When levels fall, Desire weakens, semen volume shrinks, and energy fades. You might feel more tired, less motivated, or emotionally flat. Too many men dismiss these signs as just aging, when in fact it can be a treatable hormonal deficiency called hypogonadism. A quick blood test reveals the truth, and with proper therapy, vitality and semen production can often return to normal levels. Still, there are times when dry ejaculation is a red flag for something more serious, such as an obstruction caused by prostate or bladder cancer. If you notice pain, blood in the urine, or semen, fever, or loss of sensation, it's time to seek immediate medical care. Acting early makes all the difference. But there's another layer we can't ignore, the emotional one. Many men equate ejaculation with virility, and when it disappears, they begin to question their identity. Some avoid intimacy altogether, fearing disappointment. Yet the truth is simple. Your ability to give and feel pleasure doesn't depend on fluid. The neurological sensation of orgasm remains intact. What changes is the plumbing, not your worth. Understanding the cause is the first cure. Talking to your doctor and your partner lifts an enormous weight. It replaces shame with knowledge and fear with action. Relationships often grow stronger when partners confront these changes together instead of in silence. So, what can you do? First, listen to your body. If this change appeared suddenly, get it evaluated. Second, take control of your chronic conditions, especially diabetes, high blood pressure and cholesterol, because they all affect nerve and vascular health. Third, build the fundamentals of well-being, movement, nutrition and rest. Regular exercise keeps blood vessels responsive. Balanced meals support hormones and sleep allows your body to repair. Fourth, stay curious. Ask questions, get tests. And don't settle for vague reassurance if something feels off. Finally, communicate. Silence only fuels anxiety. And open conversation leads to solutions. Dry ejaculation is not the end of your intimate life. 
it's a signal, a message written in the body's own language. With understanding, care and treatment, nearly every man can continue to live a satisfying, connected life. Remember, your vitality isn't measured in milliliters, it's measured in joy, energy and confidence. Your best years don't end at 60. They begin when you start listening to your body. If this message helped you see the issue differently, hit like and subscribe to Winds of Thought for more science-backed insights on men's health and longevity. Because the goal isn't just to live longer, it's to live well and to live fully.